Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm out by myself today, a bit of a solo mission, um, and I'm going looking for new ground. I haven't been out to the west side of the archipelago for a very long time. I have very little spots out there. Um, so what I'm going to do is just head out, go take in this absolutely glorious weather, and just go find some marks. I'm going to cruise out to about the depth that I want to sit at. Then I'm going to go through the settings that on my sounder that I use. Um, so you guys can put it in yourself if you want. And yeah, see if we can find some marks, find some bread, find some breakers, no doubt. And I hope you really enjoy the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It really helps this channel grow. And I get jumped around here. Chuck a like and a comment in if it's helping you guys at all. And really appreciate it. Let's do it. Just let me go, please let me go You like to love so hard and then you throw it away You like to open skies and then you blame it on me You're someone I can never be with You joke about my flaws and weaknesses just found another spot we're just cruising along whoops that's all i've come up with just a little bit but then as i stop you can see the sharks already here so i'm not even going to bother having a drop on it today but it is here for future reference there are some absolutely mental archers in there so um yeah i'm very keen on that look at that it's so bloody tempting so tempting all right, guys, you know how much I like finding new ground. And one of the best things you can do, the best, if you're out in a new spot and you're looking for ground, is look for these guys. Little sea snake on the top here. Sea snakes hunt fish and anything pretty much they can fit in their mouth. So these guys, more often than not, are going to be around some sort of structure. They can't, oh, look at this. So literally just went over him then. And here we go, a little bit of ground. It's not a whole lot, but every time you see a sea snake, if they're sitting on top, they're breathing up, more than likely they're sitting on something. They've got a bit of ground down there that they're hunting. They've got little holes that they can stick their heads in. If there's any holes there, that means trout, that means ranking. Bigger fish are gonna school up there as well. So it's a big thing of just about Mapping out that ground, it depends how hard the tide's running, how much the wind is, they could drift 100 meters away from this lump. So it's really, if you see one, see one on the top, make sure you put that time in, do laps, and more often than not, you'll find yourself some ground. And it's those little cues that you're looking for on the surface are gonna pay dividends when you're looking for ground. It's my little tip for you anyway. No lie, I just thought, finished telling you about that sea snake, which is a little one. Um, and then I've looked up and there's a big boy on the top over here. So let's go see what he's sitting on, I reckon. And this big boy on the top. Big solid sea snake. A little bit of fluff around here. Now I've got no marks here, as you can see. So oh, he's just breathing up. Might be going down in a second. That's a good solid sea snake, that one. He will know where the food's at, so we'll just do a few laps around here, see if we can find something. Hey, it doesn't always happen. You don't always find a spot because they can be sitting on this little fluffy bit here. 
a couple little holes in the, in the floor and that's all they need but it's those times when you find decent ground you go I'm on a winner here but yeah it's still a bit of stuff coming through bit of fluff down there a few fish there we go mark that there's some fish so Quite a few of them too actually, so I'll do some laps around here, see if there's anything hard down there. And I might have a drop on this, oh look, some more coming through now. There you go, that's on that sea snake. Sitting really hard on the bottom. A couple of little like, reverse spikes there, so you know it's harder ground. Come on something here, we're on. I'm gonna have a drop on this, see if we catch something and then there's your little tip for today. All right, so I'm gonna give it a drop anyway. Gonna drop down a little 100 gram Neap Tackle Chubby. Uh, it's got 100 pound, one on liter, 50 pound braid. It's got my Ocean's Legacy Elementus P5. I'm gonna get super heavy on these guys with the Diver um, Saltiga 35 NH. That should get a little bit of stopping power, hopefully, but there's some fish down there. So let's drop, see if we can catch one. Again, let's get the Chubby down there. Not a whole lot of fish balled up, but we'll see if something's going to be hungry enough to smash this chubby. I should have put it in front of us. Oh, see how we go. Couple little fish down there. They're not solid archers, so don't expect it to be frothing. Oh, there's a decent little mark there. There's some froth there. Let's mark this, sorry. Right, we'll keep moving. Nope, that bait moved off. And I can't be bothered dropping down for the valley, so I'm gonna keep going, see if we can find some more stuff. Holy shit. I think I'm going to get buckled here. Holy crap, it has just gone absolutely bonkers. I decided to turn on side scan, at 40 meters, and mark this little hole. Holy crap, we are loaded. All right, I'm dropping down. You watched me get absolutely peppered here. <laughs> here we go. Wish me luck, people. Let's see if I can get anything up. This looks, it's a mental lump. There's a sick ledge in it. There's solid marks. There's heaps of bait. My God, I'm about to get railed, I reckon. I haven't found a lump this shallow in a long time. A long time. Surely there's going to be something hungry here. Surely. Not no trevally or bloody mackerel or something like that either. Although I thought it would have got snipped ready. Oh, there we go. Oh, on the drop. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, I just got sharked already, I think. No! Come on! How do you get sharked already? Oh, that sucks. All right. <sighs> Damn it. Well, there's a mental spot. Um, we need to come back here with some bigger gear, I think. <laughs> oh no. 
just ran over that at it's like 22 knots, so let's go see what that looks like. That looks frothy. Hopefully it's not all bait, I swear to God. Looks like it does have a little bit of a dip to it, so we will see. Got a new shimmer shad they want to try out, so this will be bloody lovely. I should be coming up, let's have a look. Yep, we have a spot. Oh my god. Sorry, clear that. Jesus Christ. That is solid fish in there. My god. Yeah. That is proper frothing. <laughs> I can't wait to try this one. Oh my god. That's got me going. Alright. I'll show you the shimmer shad. Let's get down there. All right, so I'm gonna be dropping down. Got my Saltiga 3500 on the Ocean's Legacy Slow Element. But this is the thing I wanted to show you. This is the new Shimmer Shad from um, Snapbait. Pearl white body, nice and robust. It's got a wicked little wobble to it due to those little 45 degree cuts. And there's some Kevlar stuff woven in there. So that tail is super stretched and super strong. Give it a little bit of reversey. Let's drop this thing down because this is going to be mental. Bulk drag because I don't want to lose it. <gasps> down you go, buddy. Oh, they are good fish. Good, good fish. Here we go. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ, did you see that? Oh my God, I just got absolutely crunched. Oh. <laughs> Whatever that was, it wanted it, that's for sure. I'm thinking of ranking, because it's not doing a whole lot now. <laughs> Is that shark? Is that the air? He just blew his bag. A nice fat ranking. That is a stonker. <laughs> All right. Oh. oh. That shimmer shad lasted all of a couple of seconds on the bottom, as you saw. And that is a chunky ranking. <sighs> Not my favorite fish to catch, as you know, but. When it's on light gear, they are great fun. That shimmer shad, if you can see, still perfect. Not one thing wrong with it. Good for another fish. A couple, if not more. Could be a blood twin. This guy's pretty dense, so I think he's pretty much shagged. He's coming home for me, but that's sick. One drop, one fish.
I want my big shimmer shed. going through that. Bloody hell. Let's go over in front of it. Some big tuna hitting them. Oh, that splash. I'd have to say, oh, the map tuna, but holy crap. I just don't know. I have a lure on the what? No. All right, I've got a laser pro on now. See if that gets hit because it's like a little yellowfin profile. It's not exactly a, a flying fish, but something nailed my um, plastic and took the thing off. So it might be wahoo, might be mackerel. If it's a wahoo, I'll be singing. If it's a mackerel, I'll still be laughing. I don't know. Let's see if we can get something anyway. Oh, they're still nailing them up here. They're just going along this line, so hopefully I can get in front of them or next to them anyway with this boat, with this little laser pro. And We'll be on. There was thousands of little flying fish going around. That was sick. Poor little buggers. That's a big zero under those birds. Or something decent. There was um oh look at the size of that jellyfish. What a fish on. But anyway, um yeah, we didn't get any of those birds obviously. I don't know, I couldn't catch catch up to them, didn't have the right bait profile weren't hungry for what I had. They were just chasing those flying fish, which was pretty cool. But um, we're just making our way back to that lump real slowly that we were fishing. See if we can come across another one, or if not, drop another shimmy shad down, see if I can catch something else. If not, we'll just keep mapping this area, because I reckon there might be a few more lumps. All right. Good archers here. Let's see if we can turn it into a damn fish. Jim just been a bit slow. Good bit of ground. All right. Come on, Gingy. Let's do it. Let's catch a fish. Let's go shimmy shad. Shimmy, 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 shit. Not big ground. It's only real low stuff, but I'm hoping there's a couple of decent fish that are hanging around that want a bit of shimmy to them. It's almost there, come on. And I missed it. Bloody tide is horrendous. Oh, that was going. That's good. Oh, come up. That's a big fish. That is a very big fish. <gasps> no. Oh, that's another one. I like the head shakes on that bit better. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that was good. That first fish was a monster. I don't know what this is. Maybe a trout because all those head shakes at the start. 
be nice if it was a monster trout. I can see it. Oh, it's so clear. It's not looking grey. I'm not going to jinx anything. Oh, is it? Is it? Look at the size of this donkey! Oh my god! Are you fucking serious? Look at the size of this thing! <laughs> oh my god! That is what you call a bloody trout! Yeah boy! Yes! <sighs> Look at that on that shimmer shad! Oh my god! And I didn't have my other one on. That is a tank! An absolute tank! This would have to be one of the biggest trout I've ever seen in the Pilbara. That's, I've caught a few, but look at the size of this beast! <laughs> I can't even fit it in the frame! <laughs> this thing is huge! That's on that big shimmer shad. I had something monstrous to start with. He dropped it and then this guy's come along and absolutely inhaled it! Oh, that thing is massive! <laughs> well, your shimmer shads work, mate. Holy God! Look at the colours on it! Alright, let's get a measure on this thing. Oh, that shimmer shad's in the corner there. What a beast of a fish! Where's Bunyip's mat? On the Bunyip fishing mat, that thing there. What is he? Go back a bit, mate. 760. If not, a smidge more. 770. But fat! Look at the size of that thing! I was calling that for 800. That is one fat trout. <laughs> what a day! Yes! We're gonna do that again. Alright, we are going again. 100% we are. <laughs> I think that'd be up there with the biggest, the heaviest trout I've ever caught. That thing is so fat. Red would be nice right now. They're definitely hungry. Hit that on the drop and then um, old Trouty grab it afterwards. So. Still down there. It's on. Oh, it was on. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're onto it now. What's this gonna be, buddy? Ranking, I reckon. Has not done anything. Look at that silver colour. Certainly is. Another little ranking. This guy will go back, I reckon. They're just frothing. Oh my god, yep, there's some epic fish down there. That's going down again. It's going reverse. This guy's gonna get vented. Down you go, buddy. Off you go. You can do it, I know you can. Good job. All right, this drift, I'm putting down my 305 snap bait. That's that lucky one that's caught pretty much everything lately. Big strip of that silly little les li li lizard fish. There's some ridiculous marks on there that have to be good fish, has to be. So this is my brand new Ocean's Legacy Adrenaline. I've gone the three to six. I wanted something a little bit more supple. 
Uh, the Vengeance is an amazing rod, but it's very stiff, so really heavy jigging. Whereas this, I'm hoping it's going to be a little more supple for a bit of bait fishing. Still plenty of power with all these Vengeance rods. God, what is this? Still floating. Oh, I like this rod. It's gonna be a ranking. It's the real hard fighting one. Looking like it. No, it's not. Oh, what did I call for? My red. Oh, you beauty! <laughs> oh, he's not a big one though. Cold red and beautiful. Not a massive one, probably around that 50 centimeter size, but I'm gonna let it go because I don't need a heap of fish at home. These release really well. So I don't really mind doing it then. And we can get some underwater footage too. Off he goes. Phew. All right, here we go. Little neat tackle chubby. Be nice if this guy gets the red. I'll be stoked. Come on, Ginch. Look at them stacked up down there. That's mental. Are we getting close now? Whoa. Oh. Ah. I'm down if this is a red. A few head shakes there. Not doing a whole lot though. Might be a little one. If it is one. I'm not doing anything now. Ah. Oh. Don't worry about me. Can't call anything. <laughs> Yeah, proper little head shakes, this bugger. Oh. Off he goes. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Bastard. Ugh. Come on, mate. How'd you come? Oh, there's so many fish down there. You know, I see something different than a rake, can I? Doesn't look rare, it doesn't look dry. Oh, another trout, no! It's another good trout. That is a spectacular trout. You'd be so. 
The great thing is he hasn't blown himself up. <laughs> Another beautiful tree out you'd be happy with normally. I've already got that monster, so I can't take any more. So really quickly unhook him. He swam down like a jet. All right, we'll go again. No trout. Cool reds. What a little session. This is amazing. Just a little spot that I found chasing some birds around, really. And just found this one, so. It's a fair way out, though, so let's see what we, if I ever get back out here anytime soon. Oh my god, straight back on. Feels like another trout. What do we got? Hoping for something like a little emperor. I can use that for bait. So I reckon there'd be some big reds in there if I could get anything into them. This is looking good. Looking very good. Oh, no, it's not. A little baby red. All right. All right, my last fish off this spot. I don't want to turn it sharky, so I'm not even going to oh, bother keep going. All right, mate, come on. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. It's all right. Stress less. All right. Little red, off he goes. I'm moving off. Let's go find another spot like that because that was frothing. Yes, I've done it. Well, while we are on something as good as this, I'll um, I'll tell you how I set my sounder up. So first of all, in advanced settings. Sorry, not advanced. More options. More options and go down to color arrays. I found this is probably the best thing I've ever done um, with using this sonar is turn off all these crappy pictures. They just clutter out your screen when you don't want them there. So turn them off. Don't need them. Uh, even nine. Get rid of that. Four. Back. Then we go to sorry, where are we going? Back color line it originally it sits at like 70 which doesn't give you a whole lot of definition to it i like to sit that on 79 to 80 and then my gain you can bump that up and down as you want so auto it's not too bad but out being a little bit deeper i like to punch it up quite a bit because as i'm traveling that picks up a whole lot more definition as you can see by these lines like it's just ridiculous it's insane that's some of the best ground I've ever seen. Oh, I've got to come back here and get rid of some sharks. That's absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyway. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for me today. I'm going to steam it back in now. Um, it's getting pretty late. It's about 4 o'clock. I'm already in trouble, no doubt. But I got to risk it for the biscuit. I've had an absolutely fantastic day. Found some more epic spots like how's that trout that thing is huge comment down below what you liked the best about the episode if you like a couple of tips that i put in the fishing i like me talking more or whatever um make sure you like and make sure you subscribe guys it's really helping this channel grow if you're one of these guys that keeps coming back and watching the videos i really do appreciate it if you sub it makes it even better it's awesome anyway guys hope you enjoy it see you in the next video make sure you have a tin see ya